Dear seekers of the unknown, before we plunge into the abyss, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Only then you will receive our dark whispers in the dead of night. Voracious Paradox Chapter 1 Carnivores In the vast, silent expanse of space, the Xenocanivalus watched Earth with the Predator's patience. These alien beings, with their culture steeped in the refinement of consumption, viewed humanity not as sentient peers but as cattle, bred across millennia for the ultimate feast. Their ship, a colossal fortress of biotechnology, orbited with its belly rumbling with anticipation. Chapter 2 The Fringe Alchemists In an abandoned subway tunnel, Dr. Belikoff and his team of renegade scientists tinker with the forbidden strains of the Parafrosny virus. Their lab, shrouded in secrecy, is a labyrinth of bubbling vials and ancient computers. They inject the virus into their veins, a pact of desperation and hope, becoming both the sword and shield against an otherworldly foe. Chapter 3 The Harvesting Light In the dead of night, a piercing light slices through the bedroom window of Vera, a young astrophysicist unknowingly marked for collection. Her dreams, once filled with stars and nebulae, twist into nightmares as the Xenocanivalus paralytic beams lock onto her. She's lifted, atom by atom, her consciousness flickering between reality and oblivion. Chapter 4 The Xenocanivalus Connoisseurship Aboard the alien vessel, human specimens float in glass prisons, awaiting the grotesque gourmets. The Xenocanivalus, with their ghastly flesh, dissect and study their human harvest with cold precision. Their leader, Commander Gorthak, savors the scent of fear that permeates the lab, a seasoning for the soul. Chapter 5 The Mutation Chaos erupts in the tunnel as the virus reacts unpredictably to human DNA. It becomes sentient, a virulent consciousness spreading through the air, infecting rats and humans alike. The scientists watch in horror as their bodies contort, their minds linked by an ancient hunger. The virus whispers of its new purpose, to consume all life. Chapter 6 The Siege of Minds Vera awakens to find herself trapped in a grotesque reality. Her mind battles the invasive whispers of Gorthak, who seeks to marinate her thoughts with dread. Yet, within her, the Parafrosny virus stirs, an unintended ally that shields her from complete domination. A psychic siege begins as Vera clings to her humanity. Chapter 7 The Escalation As the virus spreads on Earth, the Xenocarnivalists find their harvest soured. Infected humans become wild and feral, no longer the docile cattle they were bred to be. Gorthok, enraged by the taint, vows to purge the planet. Chapter 8 The Ambush The Parafrosny virus finally infiltrates the alien ship. A visceral battle ensues, and the Xenocanivalists fall to their own gluttonous desires, consumed from within. Chapter 9 The Birth of Necroambulance In the aftermath, Earth is silent, a hollow shell of its former glory. The virus, now master of its domain, reshapes the remnants of life into the necroambulance, beings of pure instinct driven to wander the cosmos. The Xenocanivalists are no more. Their legacy, 
a cautionary tale of appetite and arrogance. Epilogue. The Eternal Hunger. As the necroambulans roam on their silent voyage through the stars, the cycle of consumption is set to begin anew. An eerie light shines from their eyes. The voracious paradox remains unsolved, an endless hunger echoing through the void. <laughs>